Greetings in the name of Christ, who binds us in love, hope, and unity. My name is Paul Che, and I have been serving the Council on Christian Unity, DBA Christian Unity, and Interface Ministry of the Christian Church Disciples of Christ as a president since 2016. The CUIM is the Ecumenical and Interface Office for the Christian Church Disciples of Christ in the United States and Canada which has represented the Disciples of Christ at various ecumenical and interface tables and has engaged, educated, and equipped the Church to embody the vision of a Christian unity and unity of all humanity. The CYM has been an instrument of the Disciples of Christ to encourage unity and reconciliation among all Christians, all peoples, and all creations as a sign of God's love for the world. The year 2021 was another challenging year for the whole ecumenical and interfaith communities throughout the world. As you can imagine, we could not meet in person. Considering human contact and dialogue are key to the thriving ecumenical and interfaith activities, the blows that global pandemic brought upon these relationship-based activities seemed irreversible. However, this whole circumstance has proven that our undeterred longing for fellowship keeps ecumenical and interface bodies vibrant and still relative in what could be the worst season of ecumenism and interreligious engagement. As we all understand, the ecumenical movement was born through human challenges in the, in the early 20th century, which seemed impossible to overcome at that time. In the eyes of many Christians then, the goal of establishing unity among Christians was regarded as a ridiculously ambitious. At the very beginning, the ecumenical movement faced the worst challenges inside and outside the church ecclesiastically and mission-wise. To make matters worse, there were world wars that destroyed humanity's faith. However, even in these hostile circumstances, the ecumenical bodies have continued searching for new ways of being God's one church together, and those attempts have been meaningful even though they were not perfect. From this perspective, it might be better to describe the ecumenical community as a group of Christians struggling with the human defects and wrestling with them theologically together for the sake of the world. This pandemic once again challenges the world's ecumenically minded Christians to live up to that task. In response to today's challenges, the ecumenical bodies, as well as many interfaith bodies too, have organized several opportunities to reflect on our situation under the global pandemic theologically and examining how harshly the pandemic has affected those who have already been alienated, marginalized, and oppressed. In this time of trial, Despite the doubts around the conciliar bodies and institutionalized ecumenical organizations regarding their purposes of existence in this post-church era, they have shown to the world that God's church is still strong and still has the deep desire to manifest unity in Christ. Undoubtedly, the ecumenical community as a collective body is still on the journey to fully manifest God-given unity to the world and the global pandemic. The global pandemic could not interrupt that journey. On the behalf of the Disciples of Christ, the CUIM will continue to accompany our ecumenical in and interface partners until we all live in unity and harmony as a God's people. Thank you for your support to this historic and critical ministry of the church. And please continue to do so with your prayers. Thank you for listening to my little report. And please visit our website to learn more about our ministry 
and what we have accomplished in 2021. Thank you.